So here's the problem we're going to be working with today. The directions say to calculate the line of best fit for each situation, round on numbers to the nearest hundredth, then answer the questions that follow. So the problem says the data in the table shows the monthly advertising expenses versus online sales for a local boutique over a 12 month period. The linear regression will serve as a model that best represents the data. We can use this model to interpolate and extrapolate information. So here's our table that shows our monthly expenses and our online sales. So what this company spent each month on advertising and what their sales were. Is there a relationship between the data? If so, what is the relationship? So we can find that relationship by, or I guess how strong this relationship is by plugging in this data into our calculator, into our statistics, and performing a linear regression. And I'm gonna show you how to do that on your calculator now. So grab your TI-83 or 84 and let's get started. So I'm gonna show you on the TI-84 calculator how to enter in data into your statistics and how to perform a linear regression. So I've reset my calculator, second plus 712. It's just a good idea when you're kind of starting over on a new problem. And I'm going to enter in the data that you just saw into statistics. So there's this little button right here, stat. Okay, it's under your delete button. And I'm gonna click that. Everything that I'm gonna be using today is under this button. So you can see I have edit, I can scroll over to calc, and then I have test. But right now I'm gonna edit. Okay, so I'm gonna just click enter. And I have L1 and L2, that's list one and list two. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter the monthly expenses, which would be our X values, all of those entries into L1, and then I'm gonna enter the online sales, which would be your Y values, into L2. So let's do that now. So after you've entered in all of your data, you want to make sure that the number of entries that you put in your L1 column, which ends at 55, is the same number of entries that you've entered in your L2 column. If you enter, if you get off when you enter in your data, which happens all the time, and you have maybe one more entry in one column than you do in the other, you'll get an error message. So I'm actually going to, now I've got all of my data entered and I'm going to perform a linear regression. This linear regression will tell me the line of best fit. It'll give me that information. So it'll calculate the line of best fit for you. In that line of best fit, you'll have the slope and the y-intercept. So I'm gonna go back into stat. I'm gonna click that button right there, and then I'm gonna scroll over to the right to calc. And then we're gonna perform a linear regression. So number four says linreg, AX plus B. I'm gonna scroll down to linreg, I could also just, and then I'm gonna press enter, I could also just press four. And then I, you see that an X list, that's L1. My Y values are represented by L2. I could store my linear regression, um, but I'm not going to show you how to do that today since this is an intro. I'm gonna scroll down to calculate and press enter. And then boom, there you go, there is your linear regression. Now here's everybody's used to y equals mx plus b, but actually on your calculator the value of a is your slope. So your a is 24.93 if I were to round it to the nearest hundredths place. Remember that's two places after the decimal. So 24.93 and then my y-intercept, the b value, is 1176.97 if I round to the nearest hundredths place which that's what my directions tell me to do. So my equation and slope intercept form for the line of best fit is y equals 
24.93x plus 1176.97. So if we were to use this linear regression, it says to predict the monthly online sales if the company were to spend $250 on advertising. So our advertising expenses were represented by our X value. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear this and I'm just gonna enter in, I'm gonna replace my X value given that equation with 250. So I'm going to enter in 24.93 times 250. So I'm replacing that X value with 250 and then I'm going to add 1176.97. Then as you can see, I've got $7,409.47. So if the company were to spend $250 on advertising, this is the prediction for the monthly online sales that they would get if they were to spend $250 on advertising. So now you can answer, would that be an example of interpolation or extrapolation? Well, they have yet to spend over $150 on advertising in this sample of data. So this would be extrapolation. You would want to turn on your diagnostics, which would give you your R value. It just tells you how close your data fits or how close your line of best fit fits your data. So what you're gonna do is, let's see, I'm going to turn my diagnostics on. So I can do that using a couple of different methods. I can always go to my catalog down here, which is, um, it's a second function above the zero button so I can click on second zero and I can scroll all the way down to diagnostics and that will um, turn diagnostic on and that will turn my diagnostics on. You can also click on mode and if you scroll down to diagnostic, let's see, right here and I'm going to arrow over to on and I click it so that on is highlighted. So stat diagnostics, I've got on highlighted. Now I'm gonna quit this application, so second mode. And let's go ahead and perform this linear regression again. So we've got our data entered into L1 and L2. It's still there, it stays there unless you clear your data. So right here, if I wanted to, if I wanted to clear everything in L2, I can highlight L2, press clear, and then enter, and I'll actually show you how to do that in a second. But um, it'll clear that entire column. You can also reset your calculator, second plus 712, and everything in your statistics will be deleted. But let's perform this linear regression again. So I'm gonna go to stat, over to calc, arrow over to calc. Now where do I go? Linreg, you can arrow, you can scroll down to four and then press enter, and or you could just press four. Now I'm going to scroll down to calculate. You could also just enter down to calculate. Enter. And now I've got all of this extra data. So I still have my, right here, I still have my slope. I still have my y-intercept, and my slope is my rate of change. And then I also have my r value, that 0.97. And that tells us how closely this line of best fit fits our data. That is a strong, this 0.97 is very close to one. That shows me that there's a high positive correlation. There's a strong relationship between this data. Okay, so um, I hope these notes were helpful. Um, good luck using your calculator. It's fabulous when you're um, doing some working in statistics. So good luck.